Well, we, we've kind of dipped our toe in the sap samples. We've been doing some in the corn, been doing some in the soybeans, and you know, we figured out that we want to do it in the cotton too. I've had a lot of good luck with these cotton plants actually reacting to some of the things we do, mm -hmm. maybe a little better than corn does or soybean does. It may be because we've been doing it so long with corn and soybeans and we're seeing new things to do with the cotton. These are not the easiest thing in the world to do when you're talking about a cotton plant. Uh, tell us what you do if you go to the field and, and you're going to pull a sap sample for cotton. First thing you want to do, the lab asks you to do it whenever it's 80 degrees or less. You got to do a dry sample just like you do in corn and beans, just like you would do on a tissue sample. You don't want a wet plant or anything like that. But the, the lab asks you to do the newest viable leaf, which would be this leaf right here, right off the top of the where the new um, squares are coming out, and pull that leaf and then put it in one bag. Then you're going to come down to the bottom of the same plant and pull the oldest viable leaf. So whenever you come down to the bottom of the plant and start looking at the at it, um, you see these these leaves on the bottom. Those aren't your old leaves that you're worried about right now because there's no fruiting branch on them or anything like that. So we're going to twist around here to this side of the plant and get on the first node, the, of first, fruiting node. Node, the first fruiting node and go out here to these, these larger leaves and pick the oldest, largest, most viable leaf you have. So I mean, we got two right here. I would say I'd pull this one just because it looks a little bit older than this one does. And you just go around, you got to get 80 grams of old leaf, 80 grams of new leaf and put it in two separate bags, keep it cool and ship it off yeah, so overnight. 80 grams of, of cotton leaves is gonna be a minute, right? You're gonna be 80 or so plants. It's not gonna be one of those things you just jump out there in five minutes and get it done, or 10 minutes you can get it done whenever you're doing corn, especially bigger corn. Whenever you go to doing cotton leaves or, or bean leaves, it takes a little bit more time. We're not saying you need to go do every field you got, but this sap sampling along with the rapid soil test Correct. is a really good way to know what nutrients are in your plant and what nutrients to predict you're going to be deficient on as time goes. Is that right? That's right. And it gives you more time. You know, with a tissue sample, it's a snapshot kind of later in the, the needs. By doing the sap, you get that information a little bit earlier to where you have a little bit more time to react. And cotton's a reactive plant when it comes to, to nutrients anyway.